If you've been running Facebook ads and you're not getting the results you want, it might be because you don't have Conversion API set up. In this video, I'm going to teach you what is Conversion API and how it can benefit your business, how you can set it up on Facebook's Business Manager. I will also show you how I've set it up using Go High Level. And if you want to download it, I'll give you a free template that you can get in my community. Now, because a lot of people were saying that it's kind of difficult to understand, I will try my best to give you an easy answer. But we'll get to the results towards the end, but first thing I want you to understand is that when you're running Facebook ads, most of you are running meta ads to a Facebook forum. So Facebook, by default, only has access to this data, which is form. This is not enough. And because Facebook only has access to this data, over time, you're sort of going to see worse results, performance drops, because Facebook simply cannot optimize for your ideal event because it does not have the data. With conversion API, this is what it looks like. So if we are putting people through a survey, or if you have a survey on your website, it's going to trigger this conversion API event and it's going to send it back to Facebook. So now, instead of Facebook knowing that we only have 100 leads, Facebook also knows that we have 60 surveys. If we keep going this funnel, we'll see that we also have schedule an appointment event and we also have a purchase event. The last one is in person, so Facebook couldn't possibly know that you shook hands with someone and you sold them a service, which is more the reason to use Conversion API. All that data goes back to Facebook, and now Facebook knows that you had 40 appointments, 20 sales. So over time, when you're running those ads, it's going to keep getting you better and better results. And now I'm going to walk you through the process on how to actually do it. First thing you want to do is you want to head to business.facebook.com and you want to get in this screen. Once you're here, you want to click this button on top left and you want to select your business manager. Once you select your business manager, I want you to click this little gear icon, go to business settings and go look for data sources. Once you see data sources, look for data sets. Now there is two scenarios in here. If you already have a pixel or if you don't have a pixel. Pixel is pretty much like a box that holds all the data for your ad campaigns, for your business. And it tells Facebook to show you ads to people that are most likely to purchase from you. If you don't have that, all you need to do is press add, name it with your business name, and once you have that, you will get a piece of code that you need to give to your web developer and you need to put that on your website. I'm not going to do it in this video because this video is strictly on conversion API, but I will have a separate video on this on my community in school. And I will leave a link in the description on how to do it. For people that actually do have a pixel, all you have to do is go to Events Manager and you do it by clicking three dots here and you click Open in Events Manager. Once we are in here, you want to go to Settings all the way in here and you want to keep scrolling down until you see Conversions API, it's right here. And you're looking for Generate Access Token. Once you press this, is going to give you a long set of numbers that you need to save in your notebook. The other thing that I want you to save is scroll all the way up and you need to save this data set ID. Once we have that, you can either head to my community and just download my snapshot, or if you already have it, this is the workflow that you need to create in Go High Level. And this is what it looks like. You're going to need service submitted, contact created, appointment status showed, trigger lead one. So those, this is what they look like. So service submitted, contact created, customer booked an appointment. And the last one is moved to status one. Then what we are going to do is put an if else statement with each lead into a separate path. And let's say we've got a event called survey. What you want to do is you want to grab that token that you generated, put it in here, grab the pixel ID, put it in here. And for each path, you want to create a separate event or survey is going to be submit application, no value in here. We will also use lead created. Let's say you have a form on your website that doesn't get reported to Facebook. So you want to put it in here so it gets sent to Facebook. And again, we are not putting any value. Next off, we've got booked appointment. Again, all as it is here. So integration, funnel event, happy token, pixel ID and schedule. The only time we are going to add value is with sale. And in here, you want to put opportunity lead sale and the purchase event. All that stuff is then going to be sent back to Meta. If you want to see if it's working correctly, you will have this test code right here. You need to go back to your data sets events manager and you need to click test events. All the way to the bottom, you want to test, you want to click this and you will get a test event code. All you have to do is copy this 
paste it right here, save action. After that, you just save it and you have to either book an appointment, submit a survey, uh, whichever it is that you're testing. So we put this code into a survey. So I would then have to go and submit an actual survey and see if this goes through. It's going to pop up right in here and we'll see if it's working. If you want to grab this template for free, uh, you can go to the description and I will leave a link to my community.